So last week, for the first time in ages, I finally took some time off. And I went away somewhere that was meant to be really hot and sunny and relaxing. And then of course, all that ended up happening was it rained all the time and was really windy. So basically, rather than being able to sit around the pool drinking all day like I thought I'd be able to do, I actually had to spend a lot of time inside and thinking about things instead. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. And in this case, it really wasn't a bad thing at all, because I do think that every now and then it's good to have a few days off to just think about things, to not have anything going on and just process what's going on in your life. And that's precisely what I did. But the first thing that became really obvious to me was the fact that I was so relieved to be away from trading. I didn't miss it one bit. I was so happy to leave trading behind me. Because it's funny, right? If I'm not trading, I'm talking about trading or I'm teaching about trading. So my entire life gets consumed by trading, 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 that I was just happy to get away from it. Which really made me start thinking that if I'm that happy to be away from trading, do I actually like trading? Do I enjoy trading? So I actually spent some time reflecting on this. And basically, if I think back to when I first started learning to trade or when I first decided that I wanted to start learning, then I thought trading was the most fascinating thing in the world. I imagine that every day must be really exciting as a trader because you've got that thrill of opening a trade, knowing that you're risking your money, you're putting money on the line based on the decision that you've made to see if your analysis is right or wrong. It must be so exciting, almost like gambling all the time, that same kind of buzz and the thrill you get from being in a casino. And when I first started trading, like actually opening trades, that's exactly how it felt. It felt so exciting, like it got such a buzz. I was so in the moment every time a trade opened. And that's basically like on reflection because I wasn't following a plan. Because if you're following a plan, you're following a system, each individual trade doesn't really matter that much. But if you're sort of just opening trades based on your analysis at that particular moment and you don't know what you're doing that much or you're not following a system, then every trade is showing you potentially whether you're right or wrong and forget probabilities, they go out the window. It's just, am I right or wrong with this? And so of course you get that buzz and that excitement because it's like a challenge and it's instant gratification. The thing is, as you move along and you start to become more professional and consistent with your trading, you start to just follow a plan, you're following a system. Every trade you're just executing based on certain criteria that has to be met. Now for me, over time, that just becomes mundane and boring. So I would say at this stage of my trading, 90% of trading to me is absolutely boring, like tedious work. Sitting there all day trading by a system is boring. How can it be anything except boring? And you don't get a buzz from each trade because really you're following a plan, or at least you should be. So I've just paused the video here to add an extra thought, which I think is important. Like, of course, when you open and close trades, even as an experienced trader following a system, it's still fun, it's still exciting and interesting to a certain extent. It's still like one of the perks of the job. That's one of the more fun parts. But it just hasn't got that same thrill as it does when you're first starting, where you're almost like a gambler the way that you feel when you open trades. So it's more about like the sitting round, doing the analysis on the charts and waiting for the trades to come becomes one of the more boring parts of the job because you know exactly what you're waiting for so it's not so interesting anymore so I don't want people to think that I'm like not enjoying it at all and I'm, I'm trying to put people off it's not the case there's still fun parts I just want to make that clear so let's get back to the video so the sort of the idea or like the aim with any trading is to get to the point where it's tedious and boring but consistent and profitable because then you're not risk you're not feeling the risk so much so that's the stage I'm at now that 10% that's interesting outweighs completely the 90% that's boring. So the 10% that's interesting is breaking down the data and like understanding how you can optimize your system, trying to figure out what's going right or wrong with your system, like tweaking things over time, understanding about the markets, the fundamentals, seeing how things interrelate and interconnect, making discoveries. All of these things are fascinating and so interesting. And I really love that. And so I'm very passionate about trading and I do enjoy trading and I do like trading. At the end of the day, trading is just a job. And just like any other job, there are always going to be things that you don't enjoy doing. Even if you're lucky enough to be working in something that you absolutely love, there are still going to be things that you don't enjoy out of it. Like, I love what I do, and I especially love the things on the Duomo Initiative, like helping people, seeing the progress people are making, even making these videos. But there are still things each day where I'm like, do I have to? And you do have to, because it's part of the work. 
But that's the same with trading. So 90% of it, I'd say for me, like the actual execution of the strategy, I find boring, I find tedious. I'm a people person, I like dealing with people directly and you don't get that in trading. But that 10% is so fascinating that it makes me love the entire process. And when I was thinking about this, it started to remind me of what I see in a lot of Formula One fans. So they love talking about the nuts and bolts, like the engines of the car, the drivers, all the different things that are happening with the teams. They like to talk about the new technology and so on. And then when it comes to the actual race, they enjoy the first corner. They like it when there's people overtaking. They like to see the end of the race. But then most of the race for them is like a procession. It's like nothing much is happening. And so they end up doing something else while they're watching it, like read something or look on their phones. Or you never see someone, well, you hardly ever see someone fully engrossed in the entire race. And I think that's similar to trading. Like I enjoy talking about trading. I love learning about the different nuts and bolts in our minds and the different heuristics and the biases that we have. I love understanding how the sort of markets work, how things interrelate. But the actual race itself, apart from a few bits and pieces which are exciting and when big things happen, most of it's a procession, it's just the same. So that was my conclusion after reflecting on whether I enjoy trading or not. I think a big part of it depends on what stage you're at with your trading. If you're brand new to trading or very early on into your journey, you're probably gonna find the actual execution of the trading super exciting and interesting, but the further along you get and the more you start to understand how you could, you've got to stick to a system and the more you are able to stick to a system, probably the less exciting it gets. But overall, I'd still say I absolutely love, enjoy, and I'm passionate about trading. It's just for that 10% that's interesting and the 90% is just the actual execution and making it happen. But anyway, that's just me and my opinion. I'd be really interested to know your opinion as well. Do you like trading? What parts of it do you enjoy? Which parts do you dislike? You know, if you're really honest with yourself and you look at what you're doing, do you really enjoy the whole process of trading? Or is it like an 80-20 or a 90-10 like it is for me? Let me know down below. And if you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, including the Friday one-to-one -one time videos, which we hadn't done for a while, but we're bringing back with this video today. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.